acids, bases and salts. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free. Firstly, let me teach you that what are acids. Well, acids test sour. They are found in many substances which we use in our daily life. For example, tomato sauce. It contains citric acid. Secondly, milk. It contains lactic acid. Thirdly, orange. It contains citric acid. Fourthly, vinegar. It contains acetic acid. Fifthly, lemon. It also contains citric acid. So, different substances contain different types of acids. What about the solubility of acids? Usually, all acids are soluble in the water. For example, lemon contains citric acid and it is soluble in water. Vinegar contains acetic acid and it is also soluble in water. What about the indicator test of acids? Well, there are different indicators used to test the presence of acids like phenolphthalein and methyl orange. But the most simple and easy test is litmus paper. Acids turn blue litmus paper red. Let me repeat it. Acids turn blue litmus paper red. Thus remember that acids test sour. Different substances which we use in our daily life contains different acids. Acids are also soluble in water and they turn blue litmus paper red. Now what are bases? Well, bases taste better and they are also found in many substances which we use in our daily life. For example, liquid soap. It contains potassium hydroxide. Secondly, baking soda. It contains sodium bicarbonate. Thirdly, bar soap. It contains sodium hydroxide. Fourthly, detergents. They contain ammonia. Fifthly, washing powder. They contain sodium hydroxide. So, different substances contain different bases. What about the solubility of bases? Well, some bases are not soluble in water. Bases that are soluble in water are also called alkalis. For example, sodium hydroxide in the soup is soluble in the water. So, sodium hydroxide is a base as well as alkali. Now, what about the indicator test of bases? Again, we can use different indicators to test the presence of bases. But the simple test is litmus paper. Bases turn red litmus paper blue. Let me repeat it. Bases turn red litmus paper blue. Thus remember that bases test bitter. Different substances which we use in our daily life contain different types of bases. Bases that are soluble in water are also called alkalis. And bases turns red litmus paper blue. Finally, what are salts? Well, salts test salty. But different salts may test different. Salts are formed in the neutralization reaction of acids and bases. Now, what is the neutralization reaction of acids and bases? Well, consider hydrochloric acid, HCl plus sodium hydroxide, NaOH. HCl is an acid and sodium hydroxide is a base. When this acid and base react with each other, they form sodium chloride and water. Sodium chloride is formed from the reaction of acid and base and this reaction is called neutralization reaction because acid and bases neutralize each other. So this sodium chloride is called salt. Sodium chloride is also commonly known as a table salt. One another example of salt is calcium carbonate and it is also commonly known as a chalk. What about the solubility of salts? Well, salt are of two types, soluble in water and insoluble in water. For example, sodium chloride or table salt is soluble in water. So, this salt is soluble in water, while calcium carbonate or chalk is insoluble in water. What about the indicator test of salts? Well, salt can neither turn red litmus paper blue nor can turn blue litmus paper red. 
the color of either litmus paper remains constant in the salt just remember that salts are formed in the neutralization reaction of acids and bases like sodium chloride or table salt secondly salts may be or may be not soluble in the water thirdly remember that salts can neither change the color of blue or red litmus paper i hope that you have learned the concept of acids bases and salts